Okay, I want to. I got a really cool opportunity to show you what a timber rattlesnake does when you when you approach them in the wild, and um, you don't see them right away. I was walking through this tall grass, and I heard that telltale sign of the rattle going off, and I, I did not see the snake, and I can finally see it now. And he's um, right here. Let me move some grass for you. There he is. And uh, that rattle isn't to say he's angry by any means of that or anything like that, of that nature. This actually might be. He yeah, looks like a young female. Very cool markings. But uh, yeah, she's just sitting up here and catching some sun in the high grass. But I was walking right towards her, and she did what she needs to do set off that rattle gave me a warning like I said it doesn't mean they're angry or uh, you know psychotic anything of that nature it's not gonna chase me it's just giving me a warning hey look I'm here please don't come any closer you're scaring me and that's what that rattle is it's a warning because they are frightened of what I might be what I might do we got to remember that they live in the woods with uh, some pretty large animals and they don't want to get stepped on any more than we want to get stepped on or anything of that nature. And that's what that rattle's for. They will, uh, it's an alert system so you don't keep coming and crunch them. And also tells would-be predators that they're dangerous. Um, you know, don't, don't mess with me kind of thing. Uh, these guys are actually very docile. And, uh, wouldn't go out of their way to bite anybody or anything if they don't need to. Um, now, that's not to say it won't strike. I'm not going to try to get a strike here, guys. I'm just trying to move some grass. I don't want to bite my hook. Just for her own safety. But Yeah, she's... She's pretty nervous about me being here. She might calm down here in a minute. But, uh... That is a... Beautiful timber rattlesnake. Needs a pretty good shed. Kind of dirty, but the, I'm guessing she hangs out in those rocks that are right off to the left of me in this area here. And it, I can see it's pretty dirty terrain. I wouldn't doubt that there's another snake laying around here somewhere. But, uh. Well, how you doing? Huh? How you doing, sweetie? Move that clover a little bit. I'm just trying to get a good shot of your face. You're so pretty, you're just hiding everything. Yeah, there you go. Look at you. I'm not here to hurt you. There you go. Now see, she's calming down a little bit. Now if I move, she'll start rattling again. Yep, there it went. I just all I do is pick my hand up. And these guys are pit vipers, and the, where they get that name, they have pits between the nostrils and the eyes there. They pick up heat. These guys are very sensitive on it. I believe it's like a tenth of a degree that they can sense um, in temperature change. So she sees a complete outline of me, kind of like of an infrared scope, if you were looking through that. And knows that I'm a very large, warm-blooded uh, item, possible predator. So that's why she's being defensive and uh, setting off her alert. She's not sure what I'm going to do. So. But that's really cool that I could catch that. I wish I would have had the video camera going as I was walking through here and then get the rattle to go off as I'm walking. And I love that sound. It's, it's amazing. I just get really excited every time I hear it because I don't see the snake right away and I hear that rattle and it's, it's amazing. So. All right, sweetie. There you go. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm gonna go ahead and move, move you on. I'm gonna leave you right where you're at. And I'm not in an area where there's gonna be a lot of people. And granted, the place is a little bit known, but nobody's gonna be walking through here that isn't looking for these guys anyway. So. No need to move the snake. It's just going to stay here where it was, nice and comfortable. And I'm going to continue on my way and see if we can find any more. All right, beautiful. You stay away from them hawks. And, uh, 
actual snake hunters are, right?